welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin. I'm not sure where Brad wait, is. Wait, wait, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> there he is. I'm here. I've just been slacking. I'm Brad. Uh, I've just been slacking today. I got my slacker my for sure. kitchen slacker shirt on. And uh, I don't know what this guy's going to do, but I'm okay. busy slacking. All right, so I can do this by you myself. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to go slack. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Before I actually go, I do have one shout out. You guess who it is? My people. Did you guess? That's right. Pickles Barbecue. Charlie, you're awesome. Uh, I don't know about that boiled egg thing though, but uh, hey, anybody who wants to see some more great cooks, go check out Charlie at Pickles Barbecue. My people. Okay, yep. later. Alright, later. <laughs> okay, so I guess uh, I'm going to be doing this by myself. So, what I'm going to be doing, Brad didn't even wait to find out, is I'm going to be smoking beef ribs on the Blackstone Griddle. That's right, beef ribs on the smoked beef ribs on the Blackstone Griddle. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got a, a, a smoke tube, a Mason smoke tube that I'm going to be using to smoke. And first thing I got to do is uh, fill it up. So I'm going to be using some Bear Mountain Bold Barbecue pellets. They have a rich and bold smoky flavor. I'm going to get this filled up. After I got this filled up, we're going to light it over here. I'm going to light it in my little tailgater. I'm just going to get my little torch. Lay it in there. You just light it up. Let it run a minute or so. You want to make sure that the flame catches so that you know the pellets are on fire. Okay, and that's that. Now, if you don't have an amazing smoke tube, um, you probably could use one of your grease pans, poke a bunch of holes in it, and you can just put some wood chips in here if you have any like chunked wood or anything and just light that on fire and let it light and get nice and smoky. But you want to have some little airflow in the, in the tray. So you could probably use this. Okay, so like I said, using some Bear Mountain Bold Barbecue Pellets. Now, I don't know about uh, the rest of y'all, but beef ribs are kind of hard to come by. These beef, beef ribs aren't too bad. There's not a ton of meat on them, but I'm going to use them. I'm going to have them on this, uh, on this uh, cooling rack tray. And I'm also going to keep a little uh, thermal pin in here to see what the temperature is. And you're also going to need a Blackstone dome. I guess you can use an aluminum pan if you got one. But the, what the dome will do is help keep the heat in, help keep the smoke in flowing over the meat. And uh, all I'm going to do is put some SPG on here. I've got the Blackstone running at, uh, I got the two center on all the way low. It's on, it's warming up. Looks like it's pretty warm right now. My smoke uh, tube is just about ready, so let's get this Okay, going. so before we get these ribs on the uh, Blackstone, I've got my SPG, my shaker, my Blackstone shaker, and we're just going to put this on the underside. I do not have a binder, which is okay. I can put a binder, I just chose not to. These ribs are a little fatty. I didn't clean too much off. I cleaned a little bit, but this is how they were uh, from the store. And I'm just gonna get it all covered like that. I can always add some later, but for right now, this is all I'm gonna do. We're gonna see how things roll. Okay, now it's time to get this in the Blackstone. I'm gonna show you how I get this set up. And we'll okay, get, so again, I've got my two center burners uh, on low. And right now the temp is reading 360, 364 right in here. So that's where uh, my ribs are going to go. So these ribs are going to be cooking a little higher than you normally would on a pellet grill. We want to set our ribs centered over those. Let's see. Let me turn these around. Okay, because I want to have my uh, smoke tube in there, my temp gauge set up, and my dome is going to have to go on this. So I'm going to 
let's put this about right like that. See my smoke tube. Got those coals. Okay, so I got my temp gauge over here. Got my smoker tube here. Uh, I think I'm just like that. So now the open, the back part is resting on the uh, cooling rack to let air still flow underneath here to keep the smoke tube um, lit. You got to have a little bit of airflow for these smoke tubes. But you can see the smoke coming out over here. So we should be pretty good. Okay, so here's my Tenergy. It is uh, 158, but it is climbing. I do have this connected to my phone so I can keep an eye on it with my phone to see what the temp underneath the dome is. And again, let me just show you. I've got the dome resting on the rack. There is smoke coming out there. Okay, so my beef ribs have been on for just over an hour. I haven't looked at them. I still see smoke coming out over here. So uh, anyway, we're gonna take a look at them. If they're ready, I'm gonna wrap them and then we're gonna put them back hey, on. are they ready yet? <laughs> no, they're not done yet. They smell really good. <laughs> I'm gonna go slack. Brad. Okay, let's take a look. These are about an hour and five minutes. Let's give them a look. Yeah, hey, those look pretty good. Smoker tube still smoking. Can you see that? That looks really good, actually. Look at that. It's got some good color, good smoke color. All right, so what I'm gonna do is We've got some pull back on the bone already. Uh, let's just check the bottom. Make sure we're not burning. Okay, bottom looks good. They're nice and juicy. So I'm gonna take these off. We're gonna get them over here to the foil. So yeah, maybe I had this crazy idea of uh, smoking ribs on the Blackstone. I get asked constantly about Blackstone or about getting a griddle and I always tell people definitely because they see the you know all these cooks on the griddles they, they're looking into them they want to get one do you should they get one absolutely and I always tell everybody you can literally cook anything on these uh, on these griddles anything I mean I mean I, I don't even know what you can't cook and I said except for smoking you know then you want to get you a little pit boss or a little pellet smoker and so uh, Today, I'm proving if you get an amazing smoke tube, which costs about 20 bucks, um, and get some pellets, guess what? It's like you're gonna be able to smoke whatever you want on the pit boss, I mean, on the pit boss, on the Blackstone griddle or whatever griddle you have. As long as you got a dome, keep the, keep the heat in there, uh, keep the smoke in there to get all over the meat that you're uh, preparing. So anyway, hey, so far so good. Can't wait for the taste test, we'll see ya. Whenever we get it the uh, grease from the ribs is kind of thick. It's real puddled up over here. I don't know if you can tell that or not. So before I uh, put these all back on, I am going to get some of that grease off of it. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I didn't film it, but uh, my temp gauge has been going right around 278, 280. So I want to put some more SPG on these. Now I'm going to flip these over. And really juicy, which is awesome. I'm gonna put a little bit more on here. Okay. I'm gonna get this wrapped. This way. Okay, I'm gonna double wrap them. I've got uh, the double foil here. I'm get them double wrapped. Just like this. Now I have the bones up this time, and the other inside layer, I've got it folded in, fold juices in. What I'm going to do with this layer is, instead of folding it up, I'm going to fold it under, just to give us a little extra protection between the griddle and the bottom of the meat. So we're going to go meat side down, I'm going to put these on. Probably about an hour to an hour and a half. I did clean off the griddle a little bit. I'm gonna set these right there. I'm leaving my uh, smoker tube 
it won't be covered it won't do anything in there it'll burn for usually what I put in there probably five hours I'm gonna let it continue to burn because when I unwrap these I am gonna sauce them a little bit we'll let it smoke a little bit more on top for 15 20 minutes maybe 30 we'll see so I will cover this back up kind of like leaving a little bit of a vent in there uh, in the bottom part just to help the heat circulate and uh, we'll be back probably hour hour and a half okay so this has been going for an hour and a half under the lid wrapped in foil we got some kind of storm front moving in so, we, so let's just take a, a temperature see if i can hit some meat get lucky enough we'll see how soft it is and then we will uh decide that then whether we're going to unwrap it and sauce it or what we're going to do so let's get this going okay we've got the lid off i'm just going to stick the probe in here and hope i don't hit a bone yep that is very soft look at that temperature <laughs> okay still got our smoke tube over here it's still if you can see the smoke coming up right here it's still going okay let's take this off and we will get our ribs over and get them sauced okay yeah that's warm Whew. juicy too all right look at that where i poke the hole Look at that. Okay, so since I got this side down, I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of sauce on there. Not too much, not too heavy. Anyway, I've got some uh, bouillon and sweet baby rays. It is hot, heated up. You don't want to put your cold sauce on a nice warm ribs. Get some of that on there. Let's get this flipped over. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the shiners right there. That's how that's, these ribs are these days. The, the meat is just not like it used to be, right? All right. Get this side sauced up a little bit. I don't like my sauce real thick on beef ribs. My wife likes the ribs sauced. I probably would have had them dry, but that's okay. It's all good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is get these back on the griddle. Okay, just for the fun of it, let's just see what the griddle is at. 340, 320, 334, so right in there. See that? I don't know if you can see that or not. So the griddle itself is hot. The dome helps keep the heat in. And my little smoker tube, I'm gonna go ahead and move it back over here where it was before. Just because we're gonna cover it up. Tiny bit more smoke on there. We'll be back in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes and let them rest and then take a taste test. It's gone 20 minutes. Look at that. That looks very good. All right. Now, let's get these off of here. Look at that. Smoked beef ribs. Oh. Who would have thought you could do it on a blackstone griddle, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to lightly tint it. I'm going to let it cool for about five or ten minutes cut into them do a taste test okay, we've been resting for about ten minutes let's get this show on the road and get my cutting board in here and get these ribs over here oh my god they look good okay Okay, so our ribs have rested. Let's get these uh, cut into, see how they look. Smell nice. 
Let's just cut right into this. Bone at the end down there. Let's just see what the inside of that looks like. Looks pretty darn good. Looks nice and juicy. Yep. All right, let's get a taste of this. Okay, look at that rib. This is a smoked beef back rib on the Blackstone griddle. Look at that. All right, well, here goes. Uh, Brad's not joining us. He's he's in that slacker club with the dude at the dude's kitchen, and uh, well, <laughs> I think he's passed out. He's been drinking white Russians all day. So. Okay, anyway, let's take a taste. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is very good. It does not have a smoke ring, but it's definitely done. It does have a little smoky flavor. So we had it on with that smoker tube for a little over an hour. So it got smoked the smoker tube is just about burned out so anyway mm, mm. man they're so juicy yeah these are really good smoked beef ribs on the blackstone griddle so it can be done you can smoke ribs on the blackstone griddle but you still need a pellet grill okay there's nothing like the smoke on uh getting on the smoke on the pellet grill but it can be done these taste great they look great hit the like and subscribe leave a comment what do you think about the blackstone smoked beef rib we'll see you on the next video cheers <laughs> oh man